What's up, my people? Yes, we doing car confessions while I'm on my way to go and pick up my daughter. Then I gotta pick up my son. And I've been running around like all day. I got here late. I couldn't take them um, where they needed to go and because of traffic and all this kind of stuff. But so I'm still running around. So I decided, huh? Since I can't do bedroom conversation, let's do car conversation, right? So everybody's been talking about Quiet on the Set, the Nickelodeon um, molestation rape situation with these actors and in, 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 in these, you know. Um, Oh my gosh, if you haven't seen it, take a look, take take a look. You know, it's a shame that when something happens like this, that the victim is the one that gets, you know, blamed. Like, you, 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 you try to do whatever it is that's right. And even when you're a child, even when you a child, you you you're blamed. And let me tell you, when you watch that, just I'm warning you. I'm I'm warning you. If nobody else warned you, I'm warning you. It's a trigger. It's a trigger. It's got several different parts to it. And if you watch it, it is a definite trigger. The way these children were portrayed on this show. And the things that some of them went through, and nobody was there. And it's like you know they you spoke. They're supposed to have teachers on the set. Your parents are supposed to be around all this time. And this is what the industry, and and even jobs do. They will kick the mother out, get the mom, and you want something so freaking bad. You want it so freaking bad that you would you 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 listen to them. You don't want to. You don't want to piss these people off because you know that if you don't do what they say, if you don't abide by their root, they'll just kick you off and they because they know somebody else is going to do it. Somebody else is going to be okay with it. And to find out that they are, you know, you got grown ass men because they had three pedophiles. You know what I'm saying? That was on there. That is that that's raping these children, molesting these children. It's fucking ridiculous. And you know the, the the heartbreaking part of it is the one young man that was talking about how um, his father got him into acting as a way of his father was going through a divorce and and his father use that as a way to bond so they would go on auditions together his, father, his dad would pick him up from school and do everything in the first and when his father saw the got the first inkling that something wasn't right because he said this man is always all over my son he's touchy feely with him and he just, your intuition honey huh, your intuition tells you every single time that that intuition honey women know women know that, that, that look sad, that look flitter, flutter, flatter, that be in the pit of your stomach, and you be wondering why you feeling like that. You don't know if you got the bubble guts or what's going on, but that, 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 that intuition is letting you know that some stuff is not right. Yeah, male have, have, have it too. And, and that dad said that something's wrong, and, and I want him away from my child. And then this dude is going to go and put in his head that your dad don't want what's best for you. Your dad don't want you to win. Your dad don't want X, Y, and Z. Your dad don't want. So talk to him into uh, 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 getting rid of the dad. Go back to his mom. Get em emancipated, which a lot of them, that's what they want you to do. When, when your child, when these children start seeing they want to be away from their 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 uh, parents at 10, 11, 12 and all the parent is trying to do is protect them and everything it's sad and so 
when the father did find out because the son said he called his dad and he let him know that he said they got him and his dad's like huh what are you talking about he's like they got him you know they finally got him um for what you said that he was gonna do and the dad when you see the look on the dad says i'm just glad that they didn't get you I'm, I'm glad he didn't touch you because the father went and told them to keep him away from him. So the son said he was too scared at that time. He didn't even want to shatter his father's happiness. So he didn't tell him that the one that actually brought him down and the one that actually did this was him. And... And he did, when, when, when they showed the, because they show, uh, you know, the transcripts and they show like what he, uh, uh, what he did when this, when this man, cause now he's a grown man says, think about, he said, let's do it this way. Cause they asked him, what did he do? He said, think about the worst thing that someone could do to you at a, at, while having sex. Think of the worst thing that somebody can do to you. He says, that's what happened to me. So when they went back and they looked, they was talking about, he sodomized him. He raped, he used foreign objects. Like this man had been doing this to this child because he was a child for freaking years, for, for years. And the father said, when he, they asked him, how did you feel when you finally did find out the truth? The father said, how do you feel? He says, it hunts him every day. And the man broke down. You know, I can't even, and if you're somebody that's been through that before, you never, let me tell you, you never get over it. You never get, oh, I was molested by, by my, um, mother's boyfriend, and I'll never, ever forget as long as, and I'm old, honey, I'm, you can call me grandma, whatever you want to call me, um, yes, I'm, I'm 54, okay, I'll be 55 next month in April, a April 22nd, I, your queen will be 55, and that, and when I think about it, and when as I'm watching this, I just, it, oh my God, it makes me just want to blow some shit up, because it's just like, when you start seeing strange things going on with your children, and you're wondering, why they acting out like that, why he acting a damn fool for no reason, why she acting this way, why are they, you know, uh, 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 won't listen, why are they throwing tantrums? Why is something going on? Especially when they're doing this around a certain person, or they're doing this every time you pick them up or drop them off. Baby, baby, that Nickelodeon uh, 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 series, documentary, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is no fucking joke. It is. It's, it's no joke. It's no joke. It's horrible. It's sickening. And um, these and the, and, the, and the sad part about it is they're all working. Like one of the guys, they wrote notes for this motherfucker. Wrote notes saying how he's a good guy and, and he must have been uh, uh, tricked into it. And, 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 and they must have, you know, uh, forced themselves on him. This is a child. We, you ain't talking about no fucking grown ass man or grown ass woman. You're talking about a child and every single person that wrote those letters and they said their names and they said who they are and you will be shocked by some of the ones who they were. Fucking ridiculous. All the, the motherfuckers need to drop dead. What goes around comes around. God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. But that just, it, 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 that nickel, it made me sick to my stomach it made me sick to my stomach honey castrate them them molest i'm glad that the jail know how to handle them the, the guys in jail ain't no joke this, it's ridiculous tune in to the next car conversation